we have a list of transaction numbers from the previous week. We've already used conditional formatting to identify that we have duplicate values in our account number column. You know, all that means to us is that we have had several customers who have re bought repeatedly from us during that time frame. Now, if you want to learn a little bit more about how to find those duplicate values using conditional formatting, watch my video on finding duplicates. What we're going to do is remove those duplicates so that we can go ahead and get a more accurate picture of how many individual customers we've had in the last week. So, we will click somewhere in our database, and I want you to notice that we have 65 rows of data. And take a look here. Doug Quayle is transaction 196 and transaction 191. He bought from us twice. So let's go ahead and go to our data tab and select remove duplicates. You see it selects all of our data and because we have a nice header row and it recognizes that it lists our column headers first last and account number and transaction number. Now we already have identified that the account numbers are where we have duplicates. Of course, these are duplicates too, but we're going to just use the account number for now. Choose OK, and you'll see that 12 duplicate values were found and removed. And if we look, we'll see there's Doug Quayle, it was 191, and the other one was 196, and that's gone, and that's good. And now we're down to 53 rows of data. Remember, we had 65 before. So it worked. It did exactly what we wanted it to. Let's go ahead and let's undo that. And let's do another one. Let's go remove duplicates. And this time, let's select the last name column. Because like I said, we know we've got these are all duplicated. We'll choose OK. And wow, this time it found a 14 duplicate values. Well, all that means is that we have more than one customer with the same last name. So you have to be careful. But what I'm really trying to do here is show you that you can remove duplicate values as well as text. All right, let's go ahead and let's get back to the, where we were. Remove duplicates one more time. And this time, really the only unique column that we have are the transaction numbers. We know that where we have our duplicates, the first, last, and account number name are going to be identical. So I can leave all three of those checked and just uncheck the transaction number and choose OK. And we see that I'm back to my 12 duplicate values found. It's a great tool. Just be careful. And remember, when you remove the duplicates, they're gone. They're not just hidden. So if you save this, that's it. Be very, very careful how you use it. And that's removing duplicates. Thanks. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.